we go then. Nottingham Forest versus Aston Villa. Big game in the Premier League. Villa are looking unbelievable at the moment. The resurgence under Unai Emery in the last year is something to behold and a real benchmark for a club just like Forest. But we're far from their level at the moment. We're in a bit of limbo right now, adapting to who we are again with a lot of new players coming in. A lot of unnecessary pressure building, I think. And I just think we need to kind of calm it down a bit. And it's, that's why it's very important that we raise our game on and off the pitch today. Get behind the lads, and put in our best performance we can. Up the Reds. All right, right, Dad? Hello. Yes, what do you think today? Today it's going to be tricky. Villa are a good side. We're on the fifth, I think. Fifth in the league. Yeah, we've had a lot of bad results of late. That's an understatement, especially against Luton. Their point, their games we should have won, like against Burnley. But, you know, injuries are against us. Yep. Mr Cooper's made a few wrong decisions, but I'm still a Cooper in. But I immediately think, David, of the speech that uh, Henry V gave at the Battle of Agincourt. Oh, God. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers and sisters. Do it for Cluffy. Do it for Trev. Do it for Story Moore. Do it for the city of Nottingham. Do it for England. Sing Mullock and Tye. Do it for the Garibaldi Red. Come on, you Reds! I think we'll nick a 1 0. Really? Mm. Nice one. Up the Reds. Up the Reds. Elliot. Good afternoon. How did you see today going? Uh, today, I this will be a real test for us for how we have like progressed over the last two seasons. Yeah. They're a team that are in Europe and we actually want to be in Europe. So it's very nice to actually have this little test. Yeah. So, uh, but today I'm, just, I'm going just a quite simple 1-1. One, one. Just like uh, the last game we had against them, although it would just be a little bit tougher. Yeah. But I think we've got enough in the sides, particularly with uh, Danilo and one you may be back or not. That would be good. But it would yeah. be nice to it see would. them back. Because obviously, of course, we had that, well, I'm going to call it the John Joe Shelby era. Oh, where, what an era. Yeah, where obviously from Leeds at home to Leeds away, we were just horrific. <laughs> like with him in the team. Yeah. That's yeah, I think very true. With Danilo and the one you back, I think like, there's no need to panic. We'll be no. great. Today's fact. Ah, yes. You'd like it. Of course. This is all about the pop star Shakira. Right. In 2021, she attended the World Championships of keeping a balloon up in the air for as long as possible. Wow. Although the World's Lying Down Championships this year, everybody thought they could beat 60 hours. Uh, so a lot of people attended. And this year... To do loads of training every night. This year, 50 days. Blimey. 50 days of lying down, yeah. So, unless you're comatose, you beat that. So, yeah, that's the day. Over to... Top quality entertainment. <laughs> Thank you. Molly? Hello, you are right. I'm good, thanks. How do you see today, Gary? Well, I think it is going to be a test for us. Yeah. I think we really could do with a win, to be fair. I don't know if we will. I don't want to be entitled. I hope we get a point at least. Yeah. Um, I just think we all need to get behind Steve, get behind the lads. Absolutely. The best. But I'm going to say probably 1-1. One, one. Yeah, 50 days. I'll take that. We'll take it to, I'm hoping we'll get a 2-1, a shock result. But um, yeah. yeah, I hope it goes well. Brilliant. Reds. You read? Okay, we've got two Villa fans here. Fred, George. How do you see today going, guys? Yeah, beautiful. Unless of the rain. Yeah. Besides that. <laughs> yeah. I can be a tough game, but I reckon we'll still get three points. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't lose at home a lot, but... No. Seeing as the season we've had, I reckon it'll be 2-3. Three, yeah. 3-1, three, maybe. How do you think your season's going to go come the end? I'd be happy with what we had last season, to be fair, but... Yeah. Uh, I think if we get into top six and win the yeah. uh, conference, then... Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a good, so, yeah. good season if we do that, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair play. Up the Reds? Up the Reds. <laughs> Maybe later. Cheers, guys. So, some big calls with the team news for Forrest. Didn't think he'd do it, but he's made the change in goal. Flusher Dean was making his debut for Forrest, replacing Matt Turner. Right move, in my opinion. But Warney back in the starting 11, as he should be. We needed that extra man on attack. We needed that vocal point, that number nine. And Harry Toffolo in for, well, he's in the team. Bolly. Uriah and Turner out and also it's great to see Danilo back on the bench a big shock well it's not a shock based on how he's playing but there's no draw wall at all that's the real sign of power changing things in terms of quality
Bola Aino of all people, and a fantastic finish, and a deserved lead. What a start. Jesus Christ. Jesus, even if you look at me, uh, you'll still get it wrong, probably. Half time, one nil. Forest. Min. We'll take that, we're winning. We didn't necessarily expect it. It was a great start, great goal from Aina. But yeah, we've uh, we've kind of coasted through the game really. A lot of villa possession. There's no real major clear cut chances from them really. I mean they've had they have had shots but nothing too threatening. Really Blash did make a very good save earlier, he's done pretty well in goal. We need to make it a bit more comfortable because I don't think we can hold that out for another 45 minutes playing like that. Like, not a bad half, but we need to just be a bit more consolidated. Oh, Mangala! about the city ground against teams in form it's the big six we just turn it on most of the time we're doing it here that was a quality effort it wasn't the good it goes directly in the back of the net i don't care the player that's been fantastic this season old mangala Shift from Toffolo again. He's really proving people wrong. Surge on he comes. Incredible <laughs> shift from Ola Aina. Quality goal, quality tip. That man got his nothing. Pretty special, wasn't it? 2 0 win against Aston Villa in the Premier League. First win in six games, obviously. A lot of frustration about the previous six matches. And, you know, I'm not just saying this in hindsight, but I think a, lo a lot of people were being a bit too overreactive. I, I have said that a few times myself before this game. And yes, we we'd drawn four, we'd, we'd lost badly at Liverpool. The Luton game weren't good in that, but like, there was so much potential in. All the games, minus the Liverpool and even the Luton game, there was lots of good points. It was just, you know, we weren't quite there. We, we failed to see it out. But today, we did everything perfectly. It was just one of the complete team performances. And that's why I'm not entirely surprised we did this today because we always typically raise our game against the teams that are in really good form and then particularly the big guns. And 
you know, Villa aren't a top six side, but they've been in unbelievable form, some of the best form in the country and probably Europe. So to beat them is just immense. You know, that's a, a huge, huge confidence booster more than anything. And, you know, the tough game next against West Ham, uh, obviously away is not good for us, but that's not impossible. We can absolutely get something from that. Then Brighton and Everton coming up. And, you know, we can definitely look at these games now with uh, a lot more hope than dread which is what I think a lot of people were doing because of the previous run of games. And yes, we haven't won for six before this, but it was nothing like the, uh, as Elliot called it, the John Joe Shelby area of last season when we just, you know, didn't win for like 10 games. We're playing awful football. The Leicester game last year, that period, we were dreadful, obviously. Um, but we would be at that moment. Um, it's nothing like that at all. It was just a six-game game, a six-game game run without winning a game. And we drew four of them. And, uh, you know, today makes up for anything that we did wrong, which was uh, only really the Luton match. But, yeah, just a couple of standout performances to mention. Ola Aina is just genuinely one of the best free signings that we've ever made right now. He's just, he's so good. He's so good. I really like Ola Aina. Harry Toffer, like, what a redemption story from him. Last season, we had to really bide his time. Wasn't on the bench occasionally. This season, I thought he was well out of the picture. But he's been a true professional the entire time. Never really put a foot wrong. But he has raised his game big time uh, when we had injuries, of course, to players. Slash did pretty well, I thought. You know, solid shift from him. Mangala continues to get better. Dominguez rock solid again. Just so good at everything. Sangara's getting there continuously. Murillo near Carter, the whole team was amazing today, um, you know, I can't really vote anyone at all, everyone was brilliant, yeah, thanks for watching everyone, please if you enjoyed this vlog, hit the like button, subscribe to Rads if you're new, and yeah, I'll be out of course all the future games, so stay tuned to them, I'm just buzzing with that, I'm really really happy about that, it's not quite sunk in yet to be quite honest, thanks for watching everyone, up the Reds.